Welcome to the History Law Channel. You join me here in the lovely churchyard of St Nicholas in Deptford. And we're here to see a memorial. And that memorial is to one of the foremost playwrights of the 16th century, and that's Christopher Marlowe. Who was he? Let's find out, shall we? Welcome to London. Marlowe was born in the same year as Shakespeare, 1564, and was one of the foremost dramatists of the Elizabethan era. He was a son of John Marlowe, a Canterbury shoemaker, and was baptised on the 26th of February, 1564. He attended the King's School in the city, and then went on to study at Corpus College, Cambridge, where he gained a Bachelor's of Art in 1584, and in 1587 he gained his Master's. It is also around this time it is thought he started working for Queen Elizabeth's government, but in what capacity we are still unsure. There is speculation Marlowe was a spy. His first play was Dido, Queen of Carthage, but his first major success was Tamberlin the Great in around 1590. The Jew of Malta, Edward II and the Massacre of Paris about the St Bartholomew's Day Massacre soon followed, along with Dr Faustus. The plays were key works for the Admiral's Men, run by Edward Allen, who performed many of the leading roles in the plays. Allen is associated with the Rose Theatre, and it was here that Marlowe's works premiered. It is known that Marlowe lived in Shoreditch, and while here, he completed some of his major works, as well as translations and poetry. Sadly, little is known about his private life, and there's still much speculation about that. He was known to be something of a carouser. He's known to have frequented many a tavern in London. It's also suggested he was homosexual. A warrant was issued for his arrest in 1593 for heresy, after pamphlets were found at Thomas Kidd's lodgings, who then implicated Marlowe. Marlowe appeared before the Privy Council on the 20th of May 1593, but they weren't sitting, so he was told to appear every day until further notice. But ten days later, on the 30th of May 1593, Marlowe was dead. We will probably never know the full circumstances of his death. It is often cited he died as a result of a drunken brawl, some say it was a fight over a homosexual love affair. Recent theories suggest he faked his own death to avoid the heresy charges and possible execution. Some even say he adopted the pseudonym of William Shakespeare. He was buried in an unmarked grave in the churchyard of St Nicholas's Church. He has a memorial window dedicated to him in Poet's Corner of Westminster Abbey that was a gift from the Marlowe Society and it was unveiled in 2002. The window contains a question mark next to the generally accepted date of his death, 1593. So that was the story of Christopher Marlowe. Great playwright, but was he also a spy? Who knows? Did he write Shakespeare? Who knows? But his last resting place is in this churchyard somewhere. Thank you very much for watching today. We do hope you enjoy these videos. I think it's school kicking out time, so that's what the noise is about. If you do enjoy these videos, then please subscribe. If you want to know when videos are uploaded, there's a notification bell just down below. And if you want to see what we do outside of these videos, then please go to historylord.co.uk, see about a walking tour of London, or have a look in the description below and see about Last Line Films, which is James's YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all very soon indeed.